Hello and welcome to five reasons to switch from the sales funnel to the customer lifecycle marketing. For any business to survive today, it needs to do more than just make sales. As a business owner, you need to build long-term relationships with your customers. People like to interact with their favorite brands on social media and elsewhere online. They wanna feel like the brands they buy from are tr from trusted friends and helpful experts, not just marketers trying to make money off of them. And that's why customer lifestyle marketing is so successful. It puts the customer at the center of the entire marketing process, making them the focal point instead of just focusing on sales. By using this model, you can gain lifetime customers who buy from you again and again and become your biggest brand advocates. If you're stuck in the traditional sales funnel and not seeing the growth you want, then the customer lifecycle marketing model is the path forward to success. The customer life cycle marketing model addresses the journey your customers take throughout their experience with you. It's a holistic, organic approach that accurately reflects your relationship with your prospects and your customers. You're probably familiar with the sales funnel. This is a model that brings prospects into your orbit where you can learn about them and pitch offers to them. Through successive offers, you qualify these leads and learn which are likely to buy and which aren't. The key difference between the funnel and the customer lifecycle marketing model, or we'll call it CLM for short, is that instead of a filter that ends with a paying customer, the CLM retains qualified leads and nurtures customers post-purchase. That mentality enables you to turn more leads into customers and to turn more customers into repeat buyers and loyal brand advocates. In today's highly competitive digital landscape, you need to create a relationship with your customer that's personal and long-term. The CLM model is designed to do exactly that. And there are five key reasons why this model is more effective than the old sales funnel approach. The first reason is that you get to meet your customers wherever they are. The entrance to a sales funnel is a single point in the customer's experience. It's at the stage of awareness where they're looking for a way to solve their problem and first encounter your solution. But the reality is that a customer can come to you at any point in their buying journey. With the sales funnel, you lose people who are not at the exact point you're aiming for. A customer might already know who you are. They may already be interacting with you online somewhere. Rather than the initial awareness phase, they might already be deep into considering options at the stage where they need to be motivated to make the purchase. If so, you need to make, meet them here and start encouraging them to make a buying decision. A customer could also be a repeat purchaser. Maybe they've already bought from you in the past and now they're coming back to see what else you offer. The sales funnel doesn't take into account that someone may have already have a relationship with you. In which case you need to meet them here and acknowledge them as a customer. The CLM model is more flexible when it comes to sources too. A lead might have found you by reading an article or a blog post. They may have found you through a Google search or an email message. A referral from a friend or an encounter at an offline conference may have brought them to you. Your marketing model needs to take this into account. So, where are the majority of your customers coming into your sales funnel? And how would the customer life cycle marketing model better serve their needs? The second reason for using CLM model is that you can create a more flexible path for your customers. The sales funnel gives you leads 
gives your leads two directions to go, down the funnel or out of it. It doesn't offer much in the way of choices. So if you've done your marketing right, they'll sail right through and make the purchase at the end. But the flexible path of the CLM marketing model gives your audience, but the flexible path the CLM model gives your audience is its strength. A person can move through your marketing in different directions, not just from top to bottom. That's a more valuable experience for them. There are three phases of the customer lifecycle marketing model. They are phase one, attract. This is where you provide information and learn about the person's needs to see whether you can help them. Both parties are just getting to know each other. Phase two is motivated. At this stage, you help the person make their purchasing decision and encourage them to take action. The third stage is delight. This phase is where you start to really build a long-term relationship beyond the first sale. You reach back out to the customer to see whether they're happy and what else you can do for them. In this model, a person might move back and forth between the stages rather than straight down to the purchase. It works because the lead's needs may change during this time and you can adapt to the changes and still meet their needs. How can you apply the three phases of attract, motivate, and delight to your current marketing plan? The third reason for using the CLM model is that you can nurture leads in a more organic and personal way. People don't feel like a number. They don't want to be marketed to, and they can tell when it's happening. What they want is someone who responds to their needs and gives them personal attention. Traditional marketing methods don't provide that. The sales model is a one-size-fits-all approach. It's effective in certain situations, such as a one-time promotion where you want to sell, but also gather data about your target market. There are times when its simplicity is a virtue. But in general, if you want to build a truly long-lasting relationship with your customer, you should be offering real human interaction. Using CLM, you can get to know your market well and allow them to get to know you too. Your audience will have access to your entire range of products and services. It's a much more authentic approach. How can you make your approach to your customers more personal? The fourth reason for using the CLM model is that you can build long-term relationships. The sales funnel ends when a customer makes their purchase. You might keep them in your orbit through something like email marketing to let them know about future offers. You may give them upsell and cross-sell offers but you're not paying them the same level of personal attention any longer, and that's when you lose their interest. Customer lifecycle marketing, on the other hand, is focused on repeat sales and lifetime loyalty. It costs much more to raise awareness and advertise to new leads than to market to your existing customers. This long-term strategy allows you to use the relationship you've already built to get more sales, which is a much more cost-effective approach. This really takes off after the first sale in what is known as onboarding. Businesses thank their purchasers with exclusive deals or freebies. They offer loyalty and referral programs. Depending on the type of product, the company may offer support and learning opportunities to help the buyer get the most out of their services. All of this contributes to deepening your precious customer relationships, which are the backbone of the customer lifecycle marketing model. How much does it cost you to nurture one lead to purchase? Consider the ways you would benefit from an increased customer loyalty. The fifth reason for using the CLM model is that you can stay engaged with your customers and build loyalty. 
The customer lifecycle model approach works by engaging people at each stage as they discover your brand, explore your products, make a purchase decision, and seek support post-purchase. The more you keep them engaged, the better results you'll get. To put it simply, engaging means giving people something to do so they can interact with you directly. Engagement deepens your relationship and helps you make the natural choice when the customer is ready to buy. It also gives you a chance to learn a great deal about them. Through engagement, they feel like they're a part of your brand, not just a figure on the sales chart. Engagement includes everything from daily communication through social media or email marketing to online communities, offline events, and learning opportunities you offer, such as webinars or tutorials. A strong CLM strategy offers various levels of engagement at different stages of the customer's life cycle. Here are some ways you can engage with your customers. Start conversations on social media. Write a post and ask your audience a question or get them to share their own ideas. Follow up with customers who just made a purchase to see whether the product met their needs. Offer educational opportunities where you share your expertise or teach people how to use your products so they get better results. Give your audience surveys, polls, games, or activities to do. You can also create a vibrant online community where members of your audience can interact with you and each other. Create content that's surprising or delighting, such as an intriguing story that gets people to keep reading to see what happens next. Present a challenge where your customers get to create their own content that's related to your brand or your industry. Keep your audience interacting with you. This is the engine that keeps customer lifecycle marketing moving. Brainstorm ways that you can keep your customers engaged at each stage of the life cycle. So now you have the five reasons to switch from the sales funnel to the customer lifecycle marketing model. And they are meet your customers wherever they are, create a more flexible path for your customers, nurture leads in a more organic and personal way, build long-term relationships, and stay engaged with your customers and build loyalty. Are you ready to start putting the customer lifecycle marketing to work for your business? The mess of this I discussed here can turn your leads into lifetime brand advocates. If you'd like to learn more, I'm offering a full course that teaches you how to do it step by step. Here's exactly what you'll be able to do when you go through my program. Identify the phases of the customer lifecycle marketing model and how it meets the needs of today's customers. Build awareness of you and your business so that potential customers recognize you as an expert in your field. Help potential customers uncover and understand their needs so that they see the relevance of your solutions to their challenges. Explain the benefits of your offers clearly and persuasively so the prospects make an informed decision about the best solution for their needs. Make it easy and reassuring for pro prospects to purchase from you so that they follow through and implement tactics to keep non-buyers engaged with your business. Onboard new customers and give them the ongoing support they need so they're successful with their purchase and they can feel taken care of. And finally, build a loyal community of satisfied customers who are eager to share their experience so that you can attract new customers into your cycle and generate a word of mouth marketing. And that's what you get with the customer life cycle marketing course. So if you're a life coach who wants to grow their business, 
was serious about keeping more customers and making more money, just go to the link below to find out how. www.iaplifecoaches.org forward slash life cycle.